this week, we're getting you ready for winter weather season as part of Severe Winter Weather Awareness Week. Yeah, ready or not, right? <laughs> Our first Warren weather team has special reports lined up and are looking at what you should know ahead of that first big storm. And tonight, Julian Seawright explains some of the terms that we will be using to describe what we can all expect. With the winter season right around the corner, there's some things we'll need to talk about and cover just so we can keep you and yours and your family safe as we try to maneuver throughout the winter season. So first thing we're going to be covering is winter weather terminology, which is the watch advisory and warning. What are they and why are they issued? Well, a winter storm watch in itself is when snow, sleet or ice is going to be possible. This is a precautionary type of alert that will be sent out to the National Weather Service and relayed from us to you in your homes. This is mainly to say be prepared prepared for a winter storm and the winter storm in itself is when a storm could produce heavy snow sleet or even freezing rain to the forecasted area then we have the winter weather advisory which is when wintry weather is to be expected for the fact forecasted area use caution whenever this is going to be issued as light amounts of wintry precipitation or blowing snow will cause slick conditions and could affect travel if precautions are not taken then we have the winter storm warning this is a bit when we're expecting wintry weather to be expected for the forecasted area and we are advising to avoid travel at all costs whenever this is issued. Winter storms will produce heavy snow, sleet or freezing rain and cause significant travel impacts that could be dangerous and treacherous to you if you are not prepared. Now blizzard warning, well, what is that? Well, not every winter storm is going to be a blizzard. What you need for a blizzard are a few things. One, you need sustained winds of 35 miles an hour plus to be sustained over a current few amount of hours, which is about three consecutive hours hours is when you need conditions of heavy falling blowing snow which is creating visibility of less than a quarter of a mile these conditions have to last once again over three hours so our best solution for this is to make sure that you're staying home and do not travel at all travel will be extremely difficult or even impossible in blizzard like conditions it can be very treacherous and dangerous to your livelihood so now that we've covered a bit of the terminology there's some things we'll need to know just to prepare for the snow Things to consider. Make sure that you have a shovel, supply of some salt, fuel for the snow blower. Make sure the boots are handy. You're going to need it, especially if heavy snowfall has accumulated. And in addition, kitty litter for traction and make sure that you have your car safety kit. These are some things to take away and keep you on insight so you'll be able to maneuver throughout the winter season.